I want to create an API that generates poems using AI, and I've heard that Azure OpenAI bindings for functions can help with that. So, I've installed the GitHub Copilot for Azure extension in my VS Code, and I'll use it to help me create the function. So, let's start by creating the function project. So, okay, it's telling me that I can start my function project directly using the VS Code with the Azure Function extension, which I have already installed. So, using the command palette, I can do create new project. So, let's just do that. Create new project. In this folder, it will be using TypeScript, latest model. I want an HTTP and I call the method poem. So now I want to know how I can use the Azure OpenAI bindings uh, for functions. It's telling me that I need to do a few steps, like, okay, first I need to create the Azure OpenAI resources, do some setup in my app, install uh, the extensions, and yeah, it gives me also the link to the official tutorial which I will give a look at. Okay, what I'm first interested in. So, okay, I, I can see all the detail step. And what I want to get first is this, the example code. So let's just replace my function uh, with the code from the tutorial. And let's do a few changes. Okay, what I want to do is dread like a short poem, uh, instead of a name, let's say I'm doing that about a specific topic and let's rename the endpoint to poem. Okay, that should do it. Now to be able to run this code, uh, I will need to deploy an AI model. So again, uh, let's use the GitHub Copilot for Azure extension to help me with that. I would like to use a GPT-40 mini model, so I'm telling uh, that I want to deploy that model in EastUS 2 and uh, give it the name of my subscription and also say, give it a hint of how I want to name uh, new resources if needed. Great, so now I have a GPT-40 mini model deployed. So next what I'll do is just update my local settings uh, just as it was explained a bit before. So let's just ask uh, where I can get the endpoint and API key for uh, the new resource that was created. So for the endpoint, uh, I have it in there. And for the API key, I will have to go to the Azure portal for that. So I'll just do that off screen because I don't want you to see my API key. So now that I've set up everything, uh, the last step is to deploy it to Azure. So, so again, using VS Code and the function extension, I can do Azure function deploy to function app. Deploy to function app. Let's create a new one. So the Azure function resource has been created and now it's deploying my code. Great, we're almost done. So now let's upload the settings. And uh, we're done. So yeah. Download the GitHub Copilot for Azure extension to get help with your project. Don't hesitate to send feedback our way in the GitHub repo and tell us what you would like to see next.